Today in St. Catharines, Niagara residents are attending an open house in hopes of becoming auxiliary police officers for the Niagara Regional Police Service. Our recruiting uh, program uh, kicked off on the weekend and we're looking to hire uh, more auxiliary members for the uh, Niagara Regional Police. We're finding that our, uh, we're of course always hire nothing but the best. So that being said, a lot of our, uh, a lot of our auxiliary officers are actually being hired for uh, the Niagara Regional Police or other police services. So our, recruit, our recruiting campaign is to try and uh, fill those spots. How many recruits are you looking to take on? We could take on, I have spots enough for about 35. Whether or not we can fill that, that's going to be a challenge. Well, there was a full house tonight. Are you impressed with the turnout? Absolutely. It's one of the best turnouts that we've had in a couple of years. So, yeah, I'm very, very impressed. What sort of asset does a auxiliary officer play for an officer that has been sworn in? Uh, it gives the uh, asset for the officer would be the fact that he's got another person with him. If he's out solo, then he's got a uh, he's got a partner that uh, knows uh, what's happening. He's got uh, use of force options available to him, so he's got a second body with him. It's not considered a two-man car, but that person's able to help in any aspect of uh, policing. Plus, if he gets involved in an accident, then that officer's available. He can direct traffic while the officer's taking care of the uh, report writing, things like that. My uh, people are excellent at uh, all types of traffic control, all kinds of crowd control uh, for um, search and rescue. For, uh, they're all, the training department gives them all the, uh, all the training that they need to, uh, to perform those tasks in, in a very, very efficient manner. So. Auxiliary officers were on hand to share their advice and experiences with the candidates in attendance. Uh, I've been an auxiliary officer for about eight months now, almost to a year. How has the experience been for you? It's been good. It's been a great stepping stone. I've met a lot of the officers that are on duty on a regular basis, and it's been an experience like no other. What sort of things have you been responsible for as an officer? A lot of our stuff is uh, traffic, if you do uh, taskings. But you do get to do ride-alongs, get to observe what other officers are doing, learn from their experiences, so mostly just help out the officers when needed. 20% of recent hires in the police service have come from the auxiliary, including Mike Brower, who will be attending police college in January. Uh, as an auxiliary officer, uh, we have multiple tasks that we do on a weekly basis. I'm also part of uh, the bicycle unit, so as an auxiliary officer, I can help sworn officers and do bike taskings, uh, guide parades, um, point duty, which is traffic duty. We uh, participate in that a lot as well. Is there any advice you could give to those who are eager to volunteer? Uh, the auxiliary process is very demanding. Um, there is a high rate of failure the very first time, and I myself uh, was not successful the first time, but perseverance is key. I applied again the second year and I was successful, and I have not regretted that decision since I started. While some aspire to a career in the police force, others are simply looking to support their community. That's the mainstay of the auxiliary, is the people that are looking to give back to the community, work within the community, and there's a lot of them. I'm, I'm a prime example. I've been at it for 36 years, and that, that's what I do. The remaining information sessions are being held September 29th and October 4th in Welland. For more information, visit niagarapolice.ca. From St. Catharines, reporting for The Source, I'm Mitchell Glass.